What's happening, gamers? Welcome back to G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. Uh, last time we unlocked Cobra! Agent Helix and uh, gave uh, Shipwreck the boot. So this episode... You're almost there, Joes. We're almost there. We're giving someone else. Any more chatter about Apep's eye? No, sir. They're still prepping whatever it is. I'm operating on the assumption that if these guys want it, it's trouble. All right, so like Snake Eyes and Scarlet, uh... Agent is also a commando. Okay. Meaning she can flip over things and do cool ninja moves. Yep, but she'll be booted out after this one. Unless you want to keep her. But. No, I don't, because this is her super move. That is not a useful super move. Yeah. You get a shield for a little bit. Especially in casual mode, because you could just say, no, I don't, you know, really care about dying, so. Ah. Uh. It feels like I've gotten to play as, like, my favorite character this whole time, and you've had to play as all the other weird ones. Oh, Scarlet is the best side character that you can have in this game, so really, I don't mind. Yay. Yeah, I mean, well, actually, you've gotten to play as some of your favorites, like Duke and, uh, what's his name? Uh, well, all of them. Gung Ho was pretty cool. Uh, Shipwreck. Shrek is not very cool in this game. Well, yeah, I had to I mean, show the cool comparative death. Yeah. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Take that in Mars technology. So, I mean, I understand how my hair is staying in place because I have a ponytail, but what's going on with your hair? Is it like hairspray in perfect place? I have like hairspray and <laughs> yeah. skunk, skunk hair. Like a giant can of hairspray on there. Something like that, yeah. Whoa, look at my shadow. It's like really weird. All right. Sorry, are, are you ready? Yeah. Aha, why? Yeah, interesting, they move the shadows compared to where the source of light is. That's kind of cool. G.I. Joe is here. Yeah, whatever. Was he trying to sing? Well, he, he's <laughs> trying to pull a roadblock. Yeah. That was the coolest thing ever to see a G.I. Joe sing the theme song while beating up Cobra troops. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's roadblock for you. <laughs> Roadblock was also a popular G.I. Joe character that um, also appeared in pretty much every season and episode of the G.I. Joes. Because he was like the Mr. T character. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's inconvenient. How oh, inconvenient. Ninjas. Put that down. Put that down, says Red Ninja. I'm not afraid of ninjas. I'm Scarlet. Scarlet fears no man. Ah, I walked into it before you could shoot it. It's so amazing that she was able to be named Scarlet. I mean, how would her parents even know that she had would have red hair? You do realize that that's a code name. Her name's Sh Shannon O'Hara or something like that. What? All the GI Joe code names what? are code names because nobody, ah. none of their families know they're a part of GI Joe. They're a secret right. organization. I'm gonna hide behind this blanket now. I feel really stupid. <sighs> so you're saying? Oh yeah, of course, because otherwise, because <sighs> obviously shipwreck's name is not shipwreck. Okay. I don't even remember what Face shipwreck's bomb. real name is. It's the, pretty cool music now. The only um, I I know that her about? name is O'Hara, and I know Duke's name is Conrad Hauser. What? Duke is like a real name, though. Maybe. I don't know if that's a real name. Duke is his code name. I know, but it sounds like it could be a real name. His real name is Conrad. That's why everybody calls him Duke. But Scarlet could be a real name. Yeah, Scarlet could be a new name, but it's not her name. It's a code name. It's a name she was given. Ah. Yeah. Go down. Okay, that thing is not very fun. I mean... Seriously, two laser pistols that have no firepower whatsoever. I mean, it's a weak... I, I, I thought that shipwreck shotgun was weak, but... Agent Helix's weapons. Lame. <laughs> so every new character you find, you think... You think you found the weakest character, but... After a while, you realize there's one even weaker. <laughs> I mean, really, she shouldn't have been in this. I mean, they even say, she's G.I. Joe's newest recruit. It's like, ah, I see what you did there, because she was new to the comics at that time. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. She's just learning how to kick stuff. 
But I mean, if they did another G.I. Joe game like this for a tablet, this would be really good. And then yeah, you could like totally. make people like do microtransactions to get your favorite G.I. Yeah, Joe to play Yeah, you could as. spend millions of dollars on one game. No, it wouldn't be millions. Probably All hundreds. Right. Hundreds. Something like that. I mean, the people who did the Injustice mobile games made a killing. I think all the characters yeah. they put into it. I mean, when you bought uh, the Injustice game for like 60 bucks, but if you bought it on mobile, you paid more than 60 if you tried to get all the characters you wanted. Because mm -hmm. each character pack is like, what, $2.99? And there's like so many different character variations and... Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, I'm still looking to get into it, but it's like, I don't know if I can, because I don't know what tablet I would use it on. Area secured, then let's move in. Okay, let's move in. Let's move it. Yar! Yo, Joe! Ladies first, Scarlet. Um... Dead man. Back off. Cause... Oh, you're saying you're going first. Oh, that was, that was lame. That was that was pretty sad. That was. It was sad. <laughs> I could make a. I just said a really bad comment right now, but it's like. Oh. <laughs> we got average oh. Joe. <laughs> but then. But the important thing is we found the contact, so that's all I really care about anyway. Oh, it's like the WNBA. <laughs> oh. <No. laughs> just not quite as good. <laughs> Not quite as good. Okay. Sadness. Agent Helix is a I great character sad. to pair with a heavy weapons character. Scarlet is awesome though. It has to be Axel or whatever your character's name. Helix. What is your character's name? It's her fault. She's making me look bad. Girls are awesome. It's just your character as a girl is just not good. <laughs> oh, Alright, let's continue this. Ah! Yeah, I made oh, it easy wait, okay. for you. Thank you. Keep Cobra from acquiring the Eye of Apip. Apip. Yeah. Ape? <laughs> Apip or Apip. I don't know what kind of word that is. Eye of Apip. Did you know the three and a half inch scale figures were launched in 1982? Yes. I didn't... I don't remember the commercials for the 82 ones, but I remember all the other commercials. Joes, I want you at the heart of this operation. Considering I didn't exist yet until 83. And what their plans are for it. I've got a little more data on that front, sir. From what we've decrypted so far, you're looking for some kind of solar panel. The eye of APEP is a solar panel. Seriously? I thought they were looking for ancient artifacts here, Breaker. Cut me some slack, stalker. My team's trying to make sense out of a lot of chatter from various sources. As we can tell, whatever this thing is, it's old, and it's being exposed to solar energy, like a solar cell. Could you be a little more vague? Just keep your eyes peeled, Joes. We'll get on the horn if Breaker learns something that's actually useful. Stalker's kind of mean. I know. He's channeling Duke. He is. He's the new Duke. He's being cool, though. I mean... Cool to be mean. You're in charge. Do I have time off because I don't feel good? No! I'm actually surprised that Stalker didn't have a bigger role in the series. I mean, he was, you know, in a Vietnam like raiding team with Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. Like, maybe. Before G.I. Joe, I mean, they were like the Black Ops, like, army guys, you know? Maybe he does more behind the scenes, or maybe he likes doing less now because he did all his good stuff back then. No, this, you realize this has no ties to the real American Heroes show. Like, it's it's based after the movie. So Duke uh, is just a first sergeant. He's not whatever Stalker is or... Oh, okay. It's possible that even those hackers, like... How to rank Duke and Scarlet. Sadness. Uh, G.I. Joe is here. Yes, G.I. <laughs> Joe is here, we know. G.I. Joe. Welcome to the party. <laughs> the real American heroes. <laughs> Stalker, you're really getting annoying. <laughs> He's stalking you. <laughs> I just, I don't know if my name was Stalker, I'd want it changed. I guess he stalks the enemy, but I think he also stalks his teammates. 
<laughs> so weird. I think like you'd be home, you know, trying to like have some hot cocoa and watch some movies for Christmas, and there's like some guy in the bushes, like. It's Stalker! Is that what you were thinking? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <sighs> I don't know how you know my mind. It's just not very easy to know. <sighs> Your mind is frightening. <laughs> I know. <laughs> don't you go through that door! Sorry. There's work to be done, woman. <laughs> and then, like, instead of being scared, they're like, stuck. Like, all the kids are like, oh, there's a guy rustling out in the bushes. Is everything okay? And then they're like, Stalker, is that you? Oh, you got me. I'm sorry, I'm looking for Charizard. <laughs> Found him. Mm -hmm. recruit their troops greener than I thought if they're distributing written instructions to tell them to duck and cover. <laughs> That'd be funny. I, I really want to see Stalker running around in people's bushes looking for Pokemon now. I don't know why. That's what he does on his off time. <laughs> Didn't you have some guy like in your bushes a while ago and and then you like you were about to go out there and then suddenly you heard him say like some name of some Pokemon loudly and walk away? I think we had a Pikachu in our, <laughs> our yard at one point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Tunnel ahead appears to lead back outside. Advance with caution. I'm really amazed you could do like actually kind of close to his voice. I was like, I, I like your stalker voice. It's cool. I like I like, I like his. I like stalker's voice as well. Yeah, stalker's pretty awesome. <laughs> Ninja loses against grenade. Okay, I, wanna see, I really want to see an anime of, for some kind of animation of stalkers stalking the different people in G.I. Joe, like, on their off time. Really they had a G.I. Joe anime. Oh, interesting. I don't know how long it lasted. I think it was G.I. Joe Sigma was the anime? I don't remember. It starred Duke and Scarlet and Snake Eyes and a couple other people. These levels are just getting longer and longer. I'm, I'm sorry, but if I was Snake Eyes, I just would never work with Scarlet again. Probably not. I'd be so mad at her. Well, in one universe, she actually chooses Duke over, uh, Joes, over him. Wait. You mean... Snake Eyes gets like wounded seriously and she Duke gets wounded and she's like, I'm gonna stay with Duke and Duke's like, go on, get out of here. And she's like, no, if we only have six minutes left, I've made up my mind, I'm staying with you. And he's like, well, whatever, I guess we're gonna Oh, wow, she was dating together. Snake Eyes? No. Oh, okay. No, they had been separated for some time. Oh, okay. Like, not together anymore. But she wanted to be with Duke and if they had six minutes left, she would stay with him for six minutes. <laughs> Interesting. They of course get away, but it was just, you know, Duke got really messed up. So then it was like a Chuck and Sarah thing where it's like they thought the end of the world was happening and then it's like, oh, it didn't happen. Never mind, we're not together anymore. No, they were, uh, Duke and Scarlet got together in that movie. Oh, okay, cool. And Snake Eyes went off into ninja stuff. <laughs> I'm just picturing, like, if I was Snake Eyes and I'd be coming into work and my face would be, like, healing and it'd be, like, it would be hurting really bad. I'd just be up to Scarlet. I'd be like, uh, my face hurts a lot. It's your fault. Just remember that. I don't know. It sounded funnier in my head. Yeah, this face thing, Scarlet, <laughs> this is your doing. I feel like it hurts really, really bad. Thank you for that. Thanks. Thank you. Ninja falls by punching him in the face. Over here, Scarlet. Open that door. Fine. Hustle, hustle. I am. I'm doing Not it. Not enough hustle. I'm doing it. Drop it and give me 20. Oh my gosh. Fine. Be cool if you could had a push-up button, but you <laughs> oh, don't. That would be amazing. 
Okay, now I'm a little fuzzy where we're supposed to go after this. It might be over here. Nope. It'd be cool if Duke had a button where he could just say, drop and give me 20. And Push we wouldn't, a button. We wouldn't have to... You know, yeah. there was a cool G.I. Joe arcade game when I was little. Um, called G.I. Joe, and the characters were Duke, Scarlet, Snake Eyes, and Roadblock. Oh, okay, cool. Actually, that was pretty cool. One. Where are all these hey. robot voices? Like, oh, that's Whoa. that's a crazy, uh, crazy device. Laser. Oh, it's called APEC. Well, it didn't look like that's how you say APEC. It looked like it was called APEC. Mm -hmm. Ape. 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 Wait, 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 wait. We need to go, go back. Go back, go back, go back. A Pepe. <laughs> I don't know. That is a door that we're gonna need C4. Ah, I'm channeling Roadblock. That's a door that we need C4. Yo, Joe. Got to get <laughs> tough. Go, Joe. Got to get tough. Yo, Joe. Pretty amazing. Wait, where's the Yo, Joe transformation machine? Uh, Where art thou? Wait, uh, that was... How far back was that? No, I think that was forward. That was a nice break. Can we get back to the fight now? Shut up, Duke! Um, Nobody Duke, likes you, Duke. Duke, I think the transformation thing was up here. You saw, you saw the transforming thing? Yeah. Where? Oh, yay! Good job, Scarlet. Get a raise. Maybe. You said I got a raise. I'm holding you to that. Back blast! How much of a raise, Duke? How much of a raise? I haven't quite decided yet. Let's go! Oh, who by the way, I'm, that a, guy? I'm back blast. You keep being him, and I don't know who he is, really. Uh. -huh. He's just a guy that blows stuff up. He's got a rocket launcher. I'm gonna call that guy Michael Bay. Open this. What? I'm gonna shoot it. Shoot it! Oh. Pew, pew, pew. I'm gonna beat you with my tech stuff. <gasps> I pushed the buttons fast. Wait, no! What? I wasn't supposed to go in there? No! No, Joe! I thought that was. Uh, I never get the G.I. Joe in this level. Ever! I'm sorry! Ever! I missed it! Ah! I'm let's, sorry! Let's keep going. Michael Bay. What is it, Breaker? The Eye of Apep. I finally tracked down some information. It's not a solar panel at all. It's a very large gemstone, about the size of a small car. It's believed to be a ruby. Last seen in the possession of Shoshenk II about 2800 years ago. So why would these Cobra goons be after it? Laser. What's that, Dial Tone? Apologies, sir. Dial Tone doesn't realize the microphone isn't a toy. Let us speak, Data Frame. Rubies can be an important component in building a laser. A ruby that size would be perfect for a laser weapon. Or maybe to amplify the transmission beam of the mass device. Damn. If you could amplify the mass, you might theoretically be able to transmit larger objects than just a soldier. Ooh, the mass oh, device. Man. So why all the Cobra chatter about keeping it out in the sun like a solar cell? Maybe they needed a big light source to test refraction. Right, so they could cut the facets to the exact dimensions necessary for the laser. Enough chit chat, Joes. Team, move in. See if this Eye of Apep is a fairy tale, or if there's really cause for concern. Scarlet out. Ah! <laughs> why? <sighs> I have issues. <laughs> Why, whatever your name right, is. So the Mask God. Device was the very first uh, G.I. Joe miniseries, and it was basically, think like Star Trek. Cobra had this ability to transport, like, armies and take things like the Eiffel Tower using their, you know, Mask Device. Cool. And the Joes had to build their own Mask Device. Wait, does it shrink things or something? No, it teleports stuff. Oh. I'm sorry for missing that guy that we were supposed to get. Cobra! Well, that guy will make you pay for it, so. No! What? No, I pushed. It's fine. 
It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I really thought I pushed circle. Sadness! Yo, yo, ow. The <laughs> sim starting to get sad. Things are getting pretty sad now. I'm just gonna run up and shoot you in the face. How's that? <laughs> Not you. So, oh, Scarlet. Not Scarlet! Oh. Why would I run up and shoot Scarlet in the face? Because I feel sad. Alright, let's explore a little area here and make sure there's nothing of significance. Wow, that, that went a really long way down. Whee! Why am I so slow? It was like tiny, like a little ants. Yep. Back blast! Whoops. That that didn't go well. Um. Keep an eye okay, out. I'm coming. Keep an eye out of trouble. <laughs> Trouble's <laughs> found you. Run, Scarlet, <laughs> run! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How do you like your toast? <laughs> Burnt or charred? Oh. I like it on fire with a scarlet flame. You're too late, Joes. We have what we came for. Firefly. Firefly? So there's another firefly? Apepsi is ours. But I'm glad you're here. Now I have someone to fight. Okay. Yeah, he looks like a classic G.I. Joe villain. Would have been but... a good time I could have used that super thing. <sighs> His Sorry. voice is terrible. <laughs> yeah. He had All a cool voice in the, the uh, original <laughs> show. <laughs> I am a villain. I am a villain. <laughs> it just doesn't sound very intimidating. High pitch nerd voice. <laughs> I just realized. I realized that Breaker is doing the Jason Bourne thing with his eye. With that little thing on his eye the whole time. It's kind of cool. Yes. Eat missile launcher, jerks! I feel really bad. I get messing up so much. I missed a person in this, and then I did the super move. I mean, did we miss a person? We might have missed a person. I don't know. Possibly. I've never been able to find all the GI Joes in every level, so there's only a couple left. Like uh, Snake Eyes, Sidekick, and um, some guy named. Hmm. What's his name again? Flash. No, Flash. Okay, Flash. He has like a laser on his back. Okay. Oh, look, Firefly's back. Oh, there and he is. Somebody in front of him. Can we go all. Yep. This is gonna hurt. Yay! We can use our super move again. I'm happy. <laughs> you just wanted to hear the theme song. Yay! No! No, you're wasting it! You're wasting it with a stupid cutscene! No! 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 Ah! <laughs> no! We could have used it that whole time, you stupid game! It shouldn't, even though it's only 60 seconds? It's I mean, this is just fair, bad but... game design. Why don't they pause the thing? Why don't they give us more time? It shouldn't count. The movie sh should not count as butt whooping time. Yeah, they should pause the music. And then, and then when the cutscene is over, it should go da 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 da. Want to know what they call that, little lady? What? Lazy development. Ah. With a capital L. You're being shipwrecked, aren't you? Wait, no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> I think. <laughs> I don't know all the... <laughs> it's like all of them have just... <laughs> especially like in this game, a lot of them have been just the twangy voices. Twangy voices. <laughs> Firefly is one of the most annoying bosses because he just like disappears after you hit him just a little bit. So, why is his name Firefly anyway? Because he has a jetpack. So he's like the Firefly... So the DC Comics steal from this Firefly, then? No! What? No! Marvel stole Firefly from DC Comics. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Oh. G.I. Joe was a Marvel property. Like, and they did- Firefly was already in DC Comics when they made mm -hmm. 
Firefly was, I believe, a 70s oh, that's um, weird. character. Why wouldn't they think of a different name? It's like so similar. You don't know. See, that guy has a cooler boss yeah, voice than guy, Firefly. I know, that guy should have been Firefly's voice. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm not stepping on Mars. I'm on Earth. Mars is the name of the company I that know. stole this technology. Or Cobra's front yeah. dummy corporation. The evil corporation. I was actually surprised that the identical twins haven't shown up in one of the G.I. Joe movies. Like, they should have been the guys who operated, uh... Um... Mars. Like, the backer of Cobra. Feels like I keep shooting the same people over and over again. Oh, you have been. They just, you know, they come Aren't back. Aren't they coming back to life? They just are. Yeah, this is one of the most annoying bosses. I mean, Destro is pretty annoying, too. They're respawning. Yeah, respawn after that. Dodge this. Dodge this, creep. Alright, so we only get to hit him once and then he's gonna vanish. What fun, right? There we go, hit him again. What fun this Hit him again. Oh. And See, he ran away. What? What a coward. <laughs> now he's gonna send his troops after us like again. A little kid or something. Woo! How many troops are gonna like be destroyed by us? A bunch. Uh, if I was one of his troops, I'd be like. Ah. Da 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 da. Bum, 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 bum. So we have to wait for these guys to land down and shoot them. It's also, isn't it amazing how they're able to withstand like our super bullets? <laughs> yeah. Super bullets! <laughs> These bullets will uh, not only penetrate your skin, though. Boss music is so intense, isn't it? I think I'm gonna try punching Firefly whenever he decides yeah. to get down here. I'm just gonna smack him with the butt of my gun. Boom! Boom! I'll take that, thank you very much. Did I just hear a sigh escape your lips? No, it's fine. Oh, here he is! Here's I the just, guest of honor. I don't know why this guy keeps leaving, it's really he's annoying. he's a jerk. Just punch him in the face! Don't let him escape! <laughs> Dodge this! You got him! You what got happened? him! What happened? You killed him! What? I didn't see anything that said I did. Good job. Now we gotta take care of this thing. What? Why does he send his machine over here? I don't know, it's on autopilot. Ah! No! Yo, Joe! That's how we do that. He's like, oh, my head. What happened? He's like, does somebody have an Advil? No Advil's for you, not where you're going. Ale. Cobra. Ale. <laughs> We're just gonna help him up. That's not a fun way to drag somebody. Let the guy walk. Scarlet's doing most of the work there. Backblast is just kinda like, pfft. I could carry this guy on my own, but... <laughs> yeah. Firefly found. Wow. We saw a huge energy spike when we teleported that ruby. We're talking enough juice to power a small city for a year. Sounds like with conventional power sources, teleporting anything that big is still plenty impractical. Good work, team. Losing the eye of Apep is definitely a setback, but taking down Firefly is nothing to sneeze at. Fall back to the pit and let's plan our next move. Okay. Congratulations, Joes. We've taken yeah. out all the Mars desert <laughs> units, and Firefly is in custody. Breaker and his tech team are still digging through transmissions to make sense of all this commander talk. Destro's bad enough. I don't much like the idea that someone else is pulling strings. I think Firefly's thing is that he's Joes, annoying. Cobra still has operations running in other regions. Hop on a transport and we'll get you to the next hotspot. Hawk out. He doesn't try to kill you with actually 
skills he tries to make you defeat you by being so annoying that you want to give up. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Backblast! Yay, backblast! You're gonna have to quiz me at the end and ask me like all the different Joes and what their names are. And if I win, what should I get? That's a good question, I don't really know. Yay, we got Super Joe! If I win, I get an ice cream cone. See, there was no context in this level anyway, super fine. Yay! I know, right? We haven't, we haven't lost I anybody. I didn't miss anyone! Oh, we get a reward! Okay, that was a little off key. Now we get... Did you know there are unconfirmed rumors that Snake Eyes and Scarlet are romantically involved? They're not... <laughs> but both deny they, this. They both deny it, yeah. <laughs> both for different uh, reasons. Snake Eyes because he doesn't like Scarlet anymore, and Scarlet because Snake Eyes is... Face is messed Look, Amber, up. it's your favorite. Where? Lady J. No. Okay, follow me. What's the matter, you chicken? I can't jump that far. Okay, chicken, I'm leaving you here. Use your head, Sally. Lady J. There's nothing chicken about being smart. If you stop and think, there's almost always a better way. I use this plank. That's chicken. Instead of losing it, now I know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Yay! Woo! That's feel... actually good because it's not good for kids to pressure each other to do stuff that could be dangerous. That's true. Anyway, guys and gals, that does it for another G.I. Joe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you next time with more of The Rise of Cobra. God bless and happy gaming. See ya! <laughs>